Hey guys, this is Laurie. This is B Dog. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I fucking love this. I'm just gonna get beat up. Anyway, today we're gonna get back to another question. So the question was, mm -hmm. how can we diet for so long without cheating on our diet? Queen B? Cheated. Cheating? Cheated. Yeah, cheating. As in, how do we not get off track when we prep, for example? Do we talk to the camera or do we talk to each other? Both. Talk to them, talk to me. Okay, so... How do I stay on track without cheating on my diet? Well, in my method of coaching and the way I do things, I don't have cheat meals, so to speak. I do a flexible dieting approach, if it fits your macros, which enables you to pretty much eat within your food plan that you create. So there's like no good or bad foods. Mm -hmm. And that way you're not feeling restricted. Because I feel like if you're feeling restricted, you're told you can't have something, what do you want to go and do? It's like the rebel in us. It's like, can't do that. Okay, let's let's go and fucking do it. Yeah. <laughs> but also it's, um, there's no such thing as like good, bad in my books. It's like, Agreed. no good, bad. Like I literally was still eating pizza. We were both eating pizza and our Oh, friends. I eat pizza fucking every day. Yeah. <laughs> pizza, pizza Friday yeah. is my thing. pizza Friday. Friday yeah. and yours is like pizza uh -huh. every day. <laughs> yeah. So your tip would be flexible diet. Flexible dieting yeah. and having a non-restrictive approach to Yeah. Eating. I think that's like, really good tips. Yeah. And I have a few tips as well. I would say number one, you have to have a why. Stay close to the they won't see you. I know, I was like, I felt like I was like, <laughs> yes. like this. I'm here. I'm so <laughs> scared. So I would say tip number one, have a goal. Because honestly, I think if I wasn't competing, oh my God, I think yeah, I'd tip number one. We're in off season, we still try the food, but it's easier to fall off track now that we're in off season and there's no particular date. Like, we don't need to be ready for You need by a that why. Day. You need a You need a why. You need, you need a, a goal. You need a strong goal that every morning when you wake up, you're going to think about that goal. It's going to help you to stay on track. Yeah. And so I would say that's number one. I would say get yourself a coach as well to keep you accountable. It's just, and guidance. Yeah. Just knowing what to do. For example, my coach, he gives me a tracker. So I know that if I'm off track, he's going to see it and he's going to be disappointed. Mm -hmm. So I put every day how many calories I eat, <laughs> how many steps I do. I'm like, yeah, he's fucking FBI. <laughs> but it's my partner. So it's my... <laughs> no, but yeah, get yourself a coach you to keep you accountable. Like and yeah. tip number three, I would say be surrounded by like-minded people and people that are going to support you. Hundred. Yep, that is actually 100%. And it's all for today. See you guys next week for more questions.